In this video, we're going to be walking through how to keep emails out of spam. If your users are not receiving your important confirmations and notifications from your app, they could be missing out on important information or worse, they could end up abandoning your app altogether. You want to make sure you put some preventative measures in place so that your emails make it to your users and they get the information they need. All right, so Bubble has a built-in connection to SendGrid. SendGrid is an email service provider. Because it's a built-in connection, a lot of this stuff is handled out of the box for you. That way you can send emails directly from your app using Bubble's send email actions in the workflows. Uh, for any transactional notification, if it's updates, confirmations, things like that. Uh, and you do have the option to use a different service provider through custom API connections. Um, you would just have to use Bubble's API connector for that, or maybe a plugin from the plugin marketplace. But we're going to go through this process by taking advantage of this built-in connection to SendGrid. Now, there's two parts to this. The first is you want to connect your Bubble app to your own SendGrid account. This way you can white label your sending address, right? You don't want your emails to look like they're coming from a Bubble address forever. You do want to white label them so they're coming from your own domain. So the prerequisites here are you do need to be on a paid plan and you also have to have your application connected to a custom domain. You can see here in my application under my domain settings, I have my domain connected, coachingnocodeapps.com. So the next thing you'll want to do is create an account in SendGrid and uh, set up an API key. You can start on a free plan with SendGrid. They're pretty generous with the number of emails you can send daily. Once you start growing, you can move up into higher plans so you can uh, raise that limit. Let's switch over to the SendGrid side of things real quick. And we're gonna go over to this window. So under the settings, once you have your account, go over to API keys. You'll click on this blue button and it will generate a, a new key for you. You're only going to see it one time, so make sure you copy it and then you're going to paste it over into your settings here in your bubble editor. Uh, here we have our SendGrid API key. This is only the first part for ensuring that your emails uh, don't end up in people's spam folders. This is going to white label the sending address. That way your emails can come from whatever alias you choose at yourcustomdomain.com. No more will email say that they're coming from like a no reply bubble address. The second part is really more about the uh, reliability of your emails uh, being delivered, right? So under settings, go over to the sender authentication section. There's two ways to authenticate the identity of you as, as, a, some, uh, you know, as an application sending emails. Uh, the first is domain authentication. This is the recommended approach because this covers any sending address coming from your custom domain. This is the one that you should do and prioritize. The second option is to verify individual sending email addresses. It certainly doesn't hurt to verify specific addresses that you know are going to be used for sending emails, but really the domain authentication is the priority. So what you want to do is click on authenticate your domain and move through the steps that SendGrid presents to you. Eventually, you're going to end up on a screen that looks like this. Let's let this load here. This is um, instructions for you to create DNS records with your domain host. So your domain host is wherever you got your custom domain, Google domains, GoDaddy, Bluehost, all of those. Um, and in your account with that domain host, you're going to have a place to manage your DNS records. So SendGrid is showing me uh, four records, one of them being optional, that I can add to my DNS records to create an authentication. The, both systems will communicate with each other, verify that you know, I do own the domain and therefore any email addresses coming from the domain is actually me. Okay, so you see here that there's three uh, CNAME records. This is a type of record. There's several types of DNS records. Um, each of these have a host value and a value value. <laughs> you can copy uh, quickly here to clipboard by clicking on this button. So you want to keep this page open. Now I'm going to switch over to my Google domains um, manager over here so you can see generally what this might look like. This may appear a little different depending on which domain registrar you're working with. Um, so under my Google domains account, I went to the uh, domain that I want to work with, you know, you may have more than one domain. So select the one that you're connecting to your app, head over to the DNS manager, and you're going to see something like this. You may not see as many records in here. We have our domain connected to quite a few different applications and systems. Um, so we're very much taking advantage of these records here. But 
what you'll want to do is manage the record or go to wherever it says to create a new record. And you're going to see a little form that you can fill out um, some something like this, right? So you'll put in the uh, host value. The you'll want to select the type, right? So SendGrid created those three C name records. So that's what I would select there. Uh, you can leave the uh, TTL field on its default. And then the data here, uh, in Google, it's called data. In other systems, it may just be called the value. But remember, with SendGrid, let's jump back over there real quick. We have the host and the value. The host and the value. Okay, typically the host is going to involve your domain. Um, that's how you can keep them apart. All right, so host and value will go here. You'll want to add that in, get those details in there, do one record for each one that you know SendGrid is, is showing you, and click Save at the bottom of the screen here. Make sure you save it and give it a few minutes. Sometimes these take uh, a few minutes to propagate and um, be recognized. So when you you know tell SendGrid that you've uh, completed this, right? They have a little verify button here. They're going to check. They're going to run a check to see if those records are added. They can detect them and that they've been formatted properly. Everything is good to go. You're going to see some very satisfying green check marks here that say verified. Now your domain has been authenticated and uh, you have created some preventative measures to help your email stay out of uh, users spam inboxes. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, definitely check out the content you see on the screen now. These videos will help you better build and launch your app and a lot more quickly too.